Hey guys, it's Holly from Holly's Hall and Gravitry, and today's video is going to be a herd update. I know I haven't done a herd update in like a super, super long time, and I apologize for that, but I've just been very, very busy, and then I had, I filmed one, and then I had complications um, getting it up, and so that never happened, because I didn't have time to figure out what went wrong. But hopefully this one works. Um, if you guys see it, then obviously it did. So... Um, yeah, let's just get started. So I have a few new things to talk about. We have some new babies born. Some of the oldest babies we have right now are Clementines, and her babies are about seven weeks old. This is Picasso right here, and he's reserved. And then this is Ninja right here, and he's going to be staying with me for a little while. He's looking promising, so um, he'll be staying here. And then Shiloh is a little chestnut back there. He will also be staying here for a little bit. And then, oh, Picasso's licking my hand. And then the little fluff ball back there, Miss Indy, is also reserved. And she's going to be a nice pet. And Picasso's going to be a 4-H bunny. No nibbling. They're pretty cute. Oh, he's like biting me. He actually bites. He's weird. He doesn't like bite, but he'll actually like nibble you. There you go. Now he's just like, nope, now he's kind of nibbling a little bit. But yeah, Clementine's doing great, babies are doing great. I need to give them all hay today because they haven't had any this morning. So I'll give them all hay today. And then another one of the updates is that Miss Fern over here weaned all her babies, or I weaned them from her. And so she does not have all those babies with her anymore, and I'm going to let her have a nice long break while she recuperates after having so many babies before I breed her again. So she'll just be nice and spoiled before she gets bred again for more babies. And then down here, I have like a lot of random stuff in the rabbit tree right now, but down here is Miss Coconut, one of Fern's babies. She is nine weeks old now, I believe, and she'll be staying here. No, you can't hop out right now. Um, she'll be staying here to watch and probably be shown and bred in the future, hopefully. If she stays looking as nice as she is now, she's the only one I kept from Fern's litter, and then the other four were sold. And one of the most fun updates are the new babies that we have. So Miss Mimi, um, I had a five does due, and I don't remember if you remember from my last herd update, I talked about that, I had a lot of does due. Um, I had five does due. Two of them had dead babies. Thera and Madeline had babies that were either born dead or they died just a little bit after birth. And then Buttercup did not get pregnant, and so I've actually rebred Buttercup. To Franklin and so hopefully on Halloween we have some more babies born and then I also rebred Angie because Angie also weaned her baby Olive and so I rebred her to Tucker who is Olive's dad so we'll see how those babies turn out. Mimi and Zuzu though were bred and they have, did you see all the bald spots on her tummy? She pulled a ton of her. Mimi had seven. They were all born alive and they were doing fantastic for the first few days, but sadly two of them passed away. And when she did have the seven, I fostered two of them that were the biggest pigs over to Zuzu's litter because Zuzu um, had two live babies. And so Zuzu is raising four right now. They're all doing great. And then Mimi is just raising three. And they're all very, very fat. Um, and doing fantastic. She has a ton of milk. This little one is going to be a chestnut. They're about four days old now, I think. And she's giving me kisses over there. This little one's going to be a chestnut, I think. Probably both of the little solids in here. Oh, this one's really fat. This one is going to be a broken orange, which I'm excited about. Very, very chubby. And the daddy of these babies is Mr. Otis. And the other one is also going to be chestnut, I believe. Maybe this is the one I already had, but they're both identical. So they're both going to be chestnut and then a little broken orange. 
Those ones will be exciting to see how they grow. This was her first litter, and she's been a fantastic mama so far. And then right above her is Miss Buttercup. Hi, Butters. And she's due on Halloween, so that should be fun. Her and Angie are due Halloween night. So hopefully we get some nice babies. And then I also have some more does that I'll be breeding this week or next. Over here we have Zuzu and her quad. She's always sitting on top of the box. She loves to hang out, hang out up there. She originally had four babies, but two of them were born dead. And so she had two live ones though, which was fantastic. So the two brokens in here are Mimi's. Um, sorry, the lighting is like going in and out and being weird. There are two solid chestnuts, which are Zuzu's babies. And she was bred to Finn, so I was expecting she would have just chestnuts. She has a bigger one and a little smaller one. Sorry if it's out of focus. Can't wait until I can get a better camera. But not a priority right now. And then there are two big brokens in here, and those ones are probably also broken chestnuts. This little one is so stinking cute. They're probably also broken chestnuts, and they are maybe's. This one has a huge belly. I love how the brokens are so different. Like this one has tons and tons of little speckles on its head, and then that little stripe going down the back, and then this one has less color on its head, and then like a thinner stripe on the back and more more dots. I think brokens are really fun. So yeah, those guys are doing super well. Zuzu, no nibbling. Now she's licking. No nibbles. My bunnies do not bite, but sometimes they'll nibble. <laughs> hey, bunny. Alright guys, so that's pretty much all I have for the update right now. I'm going to give them all some hay before youth group tonight. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye!